Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission, and today's mission is for my 50 Mistakes blog, 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. But it's much more beneficial than just to restaurant owners, really covers many businesses. And uh, today, Jamie, we're going to talk about, I guess we're going to talk about, make, well, we're going to talk about making the customer happy because we're in we're in the we're in the customer service industry. We're in the uh, hospitality business. hospitality industry service business dealing with people dealing with guests dealing with people that are that are paying money. So we had a situation here about two three weeks ago, and on Monday nights we have our our, our biggest promotion that we've done for ten years. And it's Lobster Night, and Lobster Night currently was I think it was eighteen ninety nine for two lobster tails. Um, and uh, it's a great deal because the lobster tails cost us over five dollars each. So we have about twelve dollars into the plate, and we're only getting eighteen dollars for it. So we have a couple, you know, which in the restaurant industry, if you have ten dollars into a plate, you should be getting thirty, thirty-five for it, typically. So that's the normal margins in the restaurant industry. So we're getting way under margin for this dish. We're basically not making money. It's basically to bring people into the restaurant on a Monday night, which is normally be a slow night. And with hopes that they're going to order an appetizer at full price, dessert at full price, and a beer or wine, something like that, where we're going to make up. So these are called lost leaders, where you want to bring people in. So we had a table of four ladies, Jamie. You weren't here that night, but I told you the story right away. Yeah. Um, it was very valuable for staff training. Four ladies, they all four order the lobster special. They don't order anything above and beyond that. That's basically it. So we're getting beat up from these people. That's, I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. And that, as a restaurant owner, you have to, you have to understand that you are going to get beat up on things. It's just going to happen. But you know, over the law of averages, you're not going to. That's the plan. Is not going to be able to take a beating on every table. So. When I say we got beat up on it, it means we really didn't make any money on the table. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't a profitable table. But as a restaurant owner, you have to see the bigger picture because if you have a packed restaurant, if they come back again, or if you get a catering job from them again, or if they tell somebody else and they come in. and So you have to look at it as advertising. A lot of people say, well, I'll th spend 400 bucks on an ad, and I'll have no idea what I'll get from that ad, right? Because we just don't know. And you'll scratch it off as an advertising expense. So when you do promotional things, you have to look at it as an advertising expense. Sure, we might be making a dollar off the lobster by the time it's done and said, as opposed to making twelve or fifteen dollars. But it's getting people in the door and it's exposing people to your restaurant and it's creating a buzz. But here's the kicker, Jamie: <clears throat> the one lady dropped half of her lobster tail. She did. She dropped half of it on the floor. She's taking it out of the shell and it goes flying and lands on the floor. And the waiter comes back into the kitchen. I happen to be working in the kitchen that night. And he goes, I know there's nothing we can do, but she dropped her lobster tail on the floor. Obviously, she's not going to eat it. I don't blame her. Um, she just wants to know if we can do anything. And he was, like, really upset by it. I'm like, why are you so upset? Well, because there's nothing we can really do, and we're not making money on the table. And this night. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not about making money. It's about making the guest happy. And I said why don't you go to the table and offer her, we'll buy her dessert or I'll replace that half a lobster tail, right? I'll take another lobster tail, I'll take half of it, I'll cook half of it, and I'll send her half out. You know, now we're not making anything on the table. So I'm spending $2.50 to now cover, almost three bucks to now cover the lobster that she dropped on the floor. He's like, I don't understand why we're doing this. I said, we're doing this because we're in the we're, we're, we're in the guest satisfaction business. We're here to please the guest. That's the bottom line. And the realm of things I had to explain to him, I said, for the lousy $3 that I'm going to spend on this, this is something that she's going to talk about and remember. Now, she's not expecting something, um, but it, you know, she came in for lobster dinner. She brought people in, and they had certain expectations, and she's not able to finish her lobster because she dropped it on <clears throat> on the floor and it's an unfortunate situation all around right if, if it's, it's the same thing when somebody spills a glass of wine or a drink right you're going to replace that drink for you replace it for them, even though that even though it's not our fault we didn't do anything. we didn't do it it's still part of, of, of customer service it's still part of pleasing the guest and it's part of doing business it's really a cost that's associated doing doing business I mean you just have to account for it I mean the kitchen staff's gonna burn a burger they're gonna drop stuff your kitchen staff is going to do more harm than a guest. So you have to view it as, okay, well, 
we burnt, we overcooked the lobster tail in the kitchen, let's throw another lobster tail on for the lady. So we gave her another lobster tail. He offered her dessert or another half a lobster tail, and she took the half a lobster tail. That's what she wanted. Um, but it's an important lesson, we took this back to our, to our, our staff, because it's important that you understand, put yourself in the guest's shoes, understand what the guest is going through. And you know, we're talking in the realm of, of you know, a lot of restaurants do a million dollars in sales, two million dollars in sales, even if you're doing like $750,000 in sales, what $3. difference, what's three dollars? What's three dollars to make a guest happy? And for the wait staff to say, well, you know, for the wait staff all of a sudden to take possession, like, well, we're not gonna do anything. The lousy three dollars, your, your wait staff can be ruining your business. Your management team can be ruining your business by not being able to make quick decisions like that. Now, our restaurant, we have a great policy here, Jamie. Um, our staff has $50 to give to any other, to, to actually comp out $50 credit towards any person in the restaurant to make them happy. And the person working that night failed on that. His attitude had failed on that. I had to remind him of the fact that we're here to please the guest. And you have $50 no questions asked. That means my staff can comp up to $50 a person on a check, no questions asked, and I will not doubt their judgment call to make a guest happy. If a guest doesn't like something, comp it. If a guest complains about something, comp it. Buy something for the guest. So my staff has $50 unquestioned. After 50, they have to get management approval. But I gotta tell you something, you know, very, 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 very rarely has everything that ever come, come to the fact of that. You know, yeah, we're not perfect and we strive to be perfect, but we're in the restaurant industry and we're not perfect. And we have to realize that fact we're humans. that we're humans. All of us are humans and we're going to make mistakes. You have to have a system in place to be able to account for those mistakes. So my staff feels empowered by saying, well, gee, I can comp a $12 appetizer if they didn't like it. Or if something was cold or if the salmon was overcooked, I'll comp it. And that's what my staff will do because they have the power to do that. So it's all about putting yourself in the guest shoes and understanding what they want. So I guess... I was rambling on this video, Jamie, but I guess the point is, you know, we're here to please the guests. And what does a couple bucks make? A couple bucks doesn't make much of a difference. What makes the difference is make sure that your guest is happy. And if the guest knows that it's not their fault and you're replacing it on your dime, it's going to make the guest even happier, right? Absolutely. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like our videos, please hit like, subscribe to our channel, and get on to 50mistakes.com. Thanks for watching.